Hey guys, my name is Megan White. This is S'more. And today we're going to go through a flow that's based for athletes. So you might find that it's a little bit quicker paced um, because I know a lot of you who yoga is not your primary exercise, you probably want to get in here, get your stretch done, and get on to the next thing. So I will try and keep you interested and keep it moving fast. But at the same time, we're going to try and open up those hips, open up those hamstrings, all those places where you get tight as an athlete. Um, in terms of props, all you're going to need is your yoga mat. I like to use a little blanket on top of mine so I don't slip, but that's absolutely optional. And you can grab some yoga blocks or maybe some books that are about the size of yoga blocks, but that is totally optional too. This is a props free class. So let's get started in child's pose. For those of you who are familiar with child's pose, go ahead and make your way there. For those who aren't, shins are on mat, knee is wide enough so you can start to move your chest down between your knees. It doesn't have to go there right away, but that's just sort of the distance you want to think. So more than your hips. And we're just walking down. And this is hands come straight, chest is moving towards the mat. In yoga, we call this the grounding pose. So we'll be here, this is gonna be the slowest pose of the class, I promise. <laughs> um, we'll be here just a little bit. You wanna think of your booty coming down towards your heels. It does not have to touch, but it's moving in that direction. You're also thinking of your chest opening up as it's starting to come down to the mat. Again, it doesn't have to touch the mat, just moving in that direction. Just take a moment to connect with your breath. and relax in. Beautiful. All right, yoga is not slow in all ends. <laughs> we will get going pretty quick, as I'm sure you know. So we're gonna come all the way up and let that go, that's child's pose. Now, we're gonna move into reclined half pigeon. If you're familiar with yoga and you wanna do traditional half pigeon, go ahead and go there, I'll show you what it is real quick. We come into down dog, and then you're just gonna sweep one leg through, and this is half pigeon. But for those of you who, you know, you have really tight hips, and that's just not something that's gonna work in your body today, we're gonna come into reclined half pigeon, Lay all the way down on the mat. I'm gonna take my right knee and put it on top of my left quadricep. So my legs are basically making a fancy figure four. And then I'm gonna to start to move that left leg towards my chest. In fact, I'm even going to grab it with my hands at the left shin and just let it come towards me. And I feel a nice stretch all through my hips. If grabbing at the shin doesn't work for you, you can grab at the hamstring and keep that foot nice and activated if you'd like. You can even come here if this is what your body is doing today. Totally fine, all great options. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So if you're in half pigeon traditional, you know what you're doing. For us reclined pigeoners, we're going over the other side. So now my left ankle is on my right quadricep and I'm gonna pull it in and let it go. So, um, like I said, I know that a lot of people are here because they're runners, they're swimmers, they're cyclists, and they're feeling really tight. Maybe you have a friend who said, give yoga a try. So, see this as a sampler, <laughs> a little sampler platter of all a whole bunch of different poses that can really help benefit you. We'll move through things pretty quickly, um, but I have a lot of other videos on my channel too where we go a little bit slower, a little bit more in-depth to poses. So, um, always room to learn and explore in yoga. So uh, see how you like this and, and keep trying, right? We'll just go ahead and roll out our back. Nice little massage. Let that all go, come nice and straight. And as you probably know, a big part of yoga is core work. So we're gonna get into a little bit of core work with some yoga bicycles. Same thing as traditional bicycles. We just call them yoga bicycles. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Um, so hands interclasped behind the head and we're gonna take our elbow to our knee going across our body. So I'm just moving here and back down through center. I like to come all the way down so I maximize that crunch. So just moving back and forth. So here, left elbow to right knee, connecting through. Feeling this all the way through the side body coming down as much as you can. I'm coming down with flat legs to even really intensify the use. And we'll just do a handful more. 
You're even getting into those hip flexors with this. And we'll go ahead and let that go. Give yourself another hug, and then we're gonna swing on through and come into plank position and do a little bit more ab work there. So from here, plank position is just like you would do in any other kind of boot camp or anything like that. Really activate through the legs. Think of your back kind of the back right here coming up towards the ceiling. So we're really engaging that whole body. Shoulders are over wrists. And we're just gonna stay here for a bit. And now we're gonna add on. So I'm gonna take my left knee to my left elbow, up to my shoulder, back to my elbow, back to plank. Alternating back and forth, keep going. So left leg and then back over to right. This really gets into those side abs. Of course, we're getting into our shoulders. And we'll just do a couple more. Last time on the left side. And last time on the right. Beautiful. Now we'll come back down to tabletop. So for tabletop, again, shoulders are over wrists. Hips are over knees. Neutral back for just a second. And then we're gonna move through cat cows. So cat is where I'm being very dramatic here, but really getting the back up towards the ceiling. Tailbone is towards the ground, heads towards the ground. And then I sweep back through to cow. So here in cow, belly is coming down towards the mat. I'm broadening through the chest. We'll keep going here. Go at your own pace. If you're really tight through the wrists, Think about putting more pressure into the hands instead of totally dumping into the wrists. I think you'll find that helps. I know with yoga, a lot of people have that issue of wrist pain. See if you can be way more in the hands and the fingers than just in the wrists. Opening up through that back. One last time in cow. Up through cat. I like to shake my whole body around. I don't see yoga as a, you know, Static holds, we gotta move, right? What feels good in that body? And then let that go, push back to down dog, walk out your dog. So just flexing the feet. Hearing some of those little Rice crispy treats, the pops <laughs> in the ankles. All those good miles are catching up with you, right? And then look up towards the hands, walk up and roll all the way up. All right, now let's move through a little bit of a flow. We're gonna start with half sun A's. So half sun A is when we're going to reach our hands up to the sky, maybe a slight back bend if that feels good, and then forward fold all the way down. We'll go ahead and halfway lift. Think of your back getting really flat, and then forward fold. Reach all the way up to the sky, Exhale, mountain pose. That was half sun A. So we'll do that one more time, then we'll add on. So reaching up, back bend, forward fold, come in nice and tight. Halfway lift with the flat back, forward fold again. Reach all the way up, mountain pose. We're gonna forward fold again, really hinging at the hips. Once I'm all the way down here, I'm gonna think of tucking. So my head is coming really towards my knees. And then I'm gonna bend my left knee, keep my right leg straight. Left hand comes right under the head and then right hand up to the ceiling as we come into a nice twist. Really ring it out here. See if you can think of opening your chest to the right side as much as possible. And then we'll come back down and just do the same thing opposite side. So now left leg gets nice and straight, right knee bends, and we open up this way. Really nice. And so you can see here, I'm kind of collapsed in. Can I think of opening the chest even more? Yeah. And then I can even feel it all through my hamstrings. It's not just a chest thing. Awesome. Bring both hands down, let all that go. Shake it out a little bit if you want. And then we're gonna toe heel out. So we're giving ourselves a little bit more space because now we're going to squat down. This is called Malasana, a yoga squat. So booty is coming down towards the mat. If you wanna grab the block, cause you really can't get there at all, you can put the block right under your booty. And that should relieve any kind of pain, especially if you have bad knees or anything like that. And you're still getting an opening through the hip. But if you're here, be here now <laughs> and then put the left hand down and right hand comes up and we're sweeping up into that twist just like we did with the straight legs. 
Perfect. Flip sides, open up this time to the left side. I'm actually using my right arm as leverage to twist more. I feel it through my low back, so it's really nice. Hands plant, step back, come into that strong plank. Now we're gonna do a little bit more of a strength move. Left hand comes underneath the head almost, and we're opening up into side plank. So my right hand's up to the sky. If I want a little more, you can even think of right hand coming towards the front of the room. Lift up through those hips and bring it down. Got to even out, it's the same thing, opposite side. Right hand down, left hand up. Really nice, and a nice stretch forward. And then let that all go. Push back to down dog. Look up to your hands, bend your knees, step or hop. Halfway lift, forward fold. Reach all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, mountain pose. Let's go through that flow one more time. Reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold. I'm gonna stay here this time and go for those side stretches. So my right, or my left, I'm sorry, my right leg's gonna stay straight, left leg's gonna bend, opening to the right side. Really nice. And then we flip, left leg straight. Right knee bends, open up to the left. I open my chest more. And both hands down, toe heel those feet out. Come all the way down to Malasana. Left hand down, right hand opens up. Nice twist, same thing, opposite side. Open up, great. Both hands plant, we're going back to the plank. And then from plank, we're moving into side plank. Left hand stays on the mat, right hand opens up. And we'll flip sides, flip around. Really protect the shoulder, but engage the hips. Oh, nice stretch. All right, both hands down. Push back to down dog. Look up, bend your knees, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold, come all the way up, mountain pose. Now let's add on. Reach up to the sky, forward fold down. Halfway lift, hands plant, step back. Now we're gonna do something new. We're coming into low push up or chaturanga. If you need to put the knees on the mat, go ahead. If not, here we go. And then we're gonna come through up dog. In up dog, our feet are on the mat and that's it feet and hands. We're getting a nice stretch through the low back. Flip those feet over, push back into down dog. Right leg comes up, sweep it through, and we're coming into what's called runner's lunge. So my foot is here, my right foot is here, and my hands are on either side of my right foot. Left leg is really engaged. Hips are moving to their, so they're parallel with the front of the mat. And then our left knee comes down, and we pull back into half split, half Hanuman, if you will. And the more you wanna come down, you can. I actually feel more if I stay up with a flat back and move my hands forward. So wherever you feel that nice stretch through the hamstrings, that's where you should feel it. Bring your front foot down, back leg engages. We're gonna sweep all the way up into crescent. And then we're gonna come down into lizard. So both hands are going to come to the inside of my right foot. Toe heel my right foot over, left knee comes down to the mat, and this is lizard. We're gonna move our chest towards the mat. So again, if a block helps you, you can use it here. You can stay up high. All we're trying to do is open that hip, so wherever you need to work, work there. If you like, you can take your hand and gently, ever so gently, guide the hip open. So, all different places to go. We're gonna activate those hands back down onto the mat, activate the back leg, front foot goes back to meet the back, and we will go back into Chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Second side, left foot goes up, sweep it on through, and come into that runner's lunge. Again, my hands are framing the front foot. If you want a little bit more, hands can be off the mat. Really engage those legs. Beautiful. We're gonna bring our right knee down, untuck those toes, 
and left leg goes straight as we fold into half Hanuman. Perfect. Front foot goes down again, re-engage that back leg, sweep all the way up into crescent. Really nice, feel it through the hips. And then come down to the inside of the left foot, toe heel the left foot out, right knee goes down, untuck the toes, and start to move into lizard. And I know this can be a big stretch, so it takes time. Don't feel like you have to go into the deepest expression. And we'll re-engage, hands come nice and firm to the mat, activate that back foot, front foot goes back to meet the back, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Look up to your hands, bend the knees, step or hop, halfway lift, forward fold, come all the way up, mountain pose, let's move through that one more time. Reach up to the sky, forward fold down. Halfway lift, hands are gonna plant, and we'll step back, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. My right leg sweeps up, swing it on through, runner's lunge, hands off the mat for a little bit more if you'd like. Then put them back on the mat, left knee comes down, and we push back half Hanuman. Really nice. Re-engage that back leg, and we sweep up into crescent, and then come down into lizard. Walk that foot out a little bit, lower the knee, come down. Very nice. Let's re-engage the hands, re-engage the back leg, front foot goes back to meet the back, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Left leg sweeps up, swing it on through. Runner's lunge. Beautiful. Knee comes back down, push back into half split. Very nice. And then that front foot comes down, re-engage the back foot, sweep up into crescent. And then hands come down into the inside of the foot, toe heel the foot out, put that left knee down, and move towards lizard. We'll re-engage those hands, re-engage that leg. Front foot goes back to meet the back. Chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Look up, step or hop, halfway lift, forward fold, reach all the way up, mountain pose. Now let's do one flow with both of those flows together, and then you're done with flows for the day. We'll reach up, forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold. I'm gonna keep my right leg straight, left knee's gonna bend, sweeping over, looking to my right. Same thing, opposite side, left leg is straight, right knee bends, sweeping over to the left. Both hands on mat, toe, heel those feet out, make room to come into the squat, malasana. Left hand down, right hand up to the sky, and now we just switch sides. Really nice. How about plank time? <laughs> hands plant, step back, first into traditional plank, and then side plank. Left hand comes under the face as you open up. Option here, if you can't do this, you can just keep your shin on the ground, and we'll come back through to the opposite side. So, always options in yoga. All right, hands down. We're gonna push back to down dog, and then we're gonna add on the second half of that flow. So I'm gonna reach my right leg up, swing it on through, and come into runner's lunge. If you'd like more, here's an option. Hands off the mat. Hands come back down, left knee goes down to the ground, and we push back into half Hanuman. Perfect. Front foot comes down, Back leg re-engages, really nice. We're gonna sweep up into crescent. Little stretch in the hips. 
and then come back down. Your hands are coming to the inside of the foot. Left knee comes down and we move towards lizard. Last lizard on this side, you guys. So get in nice and deep if you can. Re-engage those hands. Activate the back foot. Front foot goes back to meet the back. Chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Left leg up, sweep it on through. Come into runner's lunge. Hands can be off the mat if you'd like. And then we're gonna put our right knee down. Left foot comes up, half Hanuman. Left leg is nice and straight. Walk it on through, engage the back leg. Sweep up into crescent. And then hands come to the inside of the front foot. Toe heel out, back knee goes down, and we move into lizard. Last lizard. I came to yoga from marathon running, so I could not get anywhere near here. <laughs> this is after years of practice. So no worries if, if lizard is not your first love. <laughs> we'll engage that back leg. Front foot goes back to meet the back. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Look up to those hands, bend the knees, step or hop. Halfway lift, forward fold. Come all the way up, mountain pose. Beautiful work, you guys. Now we're gonna come down to the mat. We're gonna do a couple of slight back bends. All the way down, belly to mat. Perfect. Take a second, maybe move out those hips a little bit. And then we're just gonna do kind of a quad stretch slash back bend. First, we'll start in space. So I'm gonna have my forearms on the mat. I have a slight, obviously, back bend right here. If I wanna intensify this, I think of opening the chest more. Pulling, like energetically pulling the chest forward will intensify the back bend. And I feel it more in my hips as well. You need to back off, back off. But move towards opening the chest. Very nice, let that go. Now we're gonna do a little bit of back bend and a quad stretch at the same time, a twofer. So I'm gonna start on my left side. I'm gonna take my left hand, reach back for my left foot. You can grasp it either on the outside or the inside, wherever you'd like to work today. And then we're going to back bend at the same time. Think of both hips being on the mat, so you don't wanna be like this necessarily. If you can't reach your foot, it's always, it's fine. You can just work here. You could even grab a rope, a strap, and you can use it to slowly work on opening up those quads. I get it, it's, it's not easy, it takes time. And then we'll let that go. Come over to the opposite side. So this time my left hand's grabbing my left foot. Again, either grip version works fine, whichever one you'd like to do. And come into the back bend. Really nice. You just don't want to feel a strain on your knee, of course. And then we'll let that all go. And we'll flip over to our back for the very last couple poses. First thing I'm gonna do is legs up. This can also be done as legs up the wall. So here I have a wall, legs. <laughs> I just flip around and be right there. Feel free to do that if you have a wall handy or you can just do this. So just legs up that imaginary wall. This is great for post run, post cycling, anything like that. Maybe give those feet a turn too. When you're ready, we're gonna come into plow. So your legs are going to wind up coming up over here, so make sure you have plenty of space. I know I do, but it never hurts to just double check. Lifting up and over. Really, really nice. If this isn't accessible, you can come here. You can just you know, kind of keep the back off the mat. So just see where you have a stretch in the back. But if you can, think of your hand or your feet coming up over, straightening those legs. And we'll come all the way up. Let it all go. 
and come down to our mat. And now we're gonna move into Shavasana, which is the last pose of class. It's just relaxing and being heavy on the mat. The equivalent of getting that metal around your neck after a, <laughs> a nice workout. Um, just signaling the end of our practice, releasing everything that just happened. And as you're ready, feel free to stay there as long as you'd like, but if you need to get going, give yourself a little hug. Roll back and forth until you come all the way up. And then you just come into a seated position. So I hope you had some fun with that. I kept it super fast and flowy because if you're anything like me and your primary workout was aerobic and you're used to getting the heart racing, maybe the thought of yoga was a little off-putting, but you've heard that it's good for your body and so you gave it a try. So awesome job for just showing up on your mat. But I think you'll find as you explore different yoga practices that some are fast and they can get your heartbeat really going. Others, like some yin practices that I have on my channel, you can really take some time to stretch out those hips and those quads and those calves. So what yoga practice is best for you? The one that you show up and do. So if you can integrate yoga in three times a week maybe, I know you athletes are super busy with all your activities, but I think that you will find that over the long term it helps prevent injury and that you'll just feel better in your body. I know that was certainly the case for me. Um, previous marathoner, half Ironman. Uh, now I just find that yoga is just such a nice balance to those other activities as well. So I hope you found it to be enjoyable too. Thank you so much for your time. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.